think when I was about 15, uh, my goalie coach started to uh, bring me out to the lessons and, and camps that he had and, uh, and help me or allow me to help coach uh, some of the younger kids. Um, he used to give me all the real little kids that are just starting out and uh, kind of get them used to skating and, and playing and just kind of get used to the, the position. Um, so about, about 15 years now, I would say, uh, I've been coaching. Well, I grew up in New Jersey. After I graduated, uh, I still lived in New Jersey for a little bit, and then I moved down here, actually, to move in with my wife, uh, uh, you know, girlfriend at the time. And uh, once I moved in, um, I was kind of trying to settle in a little bit, didn't really uh, coach too much, and then uh, I think I spent about a summer off, and then I just kind of wanted to start coaching again. Um, again, it's something that I really enjoy, so I wanted to get back into it. And um, I noticed... Uh, Wolf hockey flyers and stuff and everything around here. So I actually contacted my goalie coach growing up, and he knew Jason Wolf, and uh, Jason Wolf um, kind of hooked me up with uh, with the gig. And then after after about a year coaching with him, I'm um, just doing private lessons in, in different uh, clinics here and there. Uh, he asked me if I wanted to do the uh, goal, you know the full time gig with the MYHA, and uh, he kind of explained all the things that would go into it, and it seemed like I would uh, really enjoy it. There's a lot of goalies. Uh, that are in the program and everything. So uh, it was just something that I seemed like I would really enjoy. So I definitely uh, jumped on it. Um, one of the greatest things I think uh, that they do is that they actually have goalie equipment um, that they rent out to all the little mites and, and house league players that, that want to try out goalie um, so that you know goalie equipment can be pretty expensive. It's not easy to get into. So. Uh, it's really great that they allow kids to be able to put the equipment on, go out there for a practice or two, or you know, even just kind of rent it for the season, and give it a shot before they you know, dive into it and start spending all that money. So it's really, uh, I, I definitely see something that they're, they're trying to take their younger kids and, and give them an opportunity that a lot of other programs don't have. Uh, I think the best part about being a goalie, at least for me, is that there's so many different ways to get into it and ways to play it and um, everything like that and uh, again for me I always enjoyed kind of the technical aspect of it and teaching that technical aspect of it but there's also athletic aspects there's also you know conditioning and so many different things that goes into goalies so all sorts of different people end up playing it and enjoying it and really kind of giving it their own personal take um, on the position so I think that's uh, really important. Usually I just try and make sure that they have as much fun as I can. You know, I'm usually coaching, uh, especially here on Saturdays, uh, the little mites who are six and seven years old, kind of wobbly. Um, you know, it's a lot of equipment. It's kind of awkward and everything. So I usually just try and make sure that they have as much fun as they can, make sure they're moving around uh, while they're having fun and enjoying it so that they're not really focusing too much on their actual, um, you know, again, all that bulky equipment and, and everything. So, uh, you know, they're, they end up moving around and enjoying it and without really realizing what they're doing. And next thing you know, they kind of pick it up and, and they want to keep going with it. So uh, that's usually the thing I encourage the most is just, you know, try and have fun out there. The biggest challenge, I think, uh, as you get a little bit older, squirts, peewees into bantams, uh, is probably just the speed at which you're the game is played around you. Uh, when you're a mite, you know, the game's a little bit slower. Kids can't shoot the puck as high and everything. So it's a little bit easier to get away with some of the, um, you know, unorthodox kind of ways of playing. Um, just kind of go out there and, and just, you know, jump in front of the puck. Um, when you're a little bit older, you need a little bit uh, more technical skills to try and keep up with the, the pace in front of you. So I think that's tougher. When to, it's it's kind of harder to just jump in there and naturally transition into a, a goaltender from a skater. I think the biggest thing I would want my kids to take away is, again, a lot of the, just those same lessons in general. Just, you know, work hard, take advantage of the time you have and all that stuff because, again, you know, you're going to play hockey for probably only X amount of years, most kids, and then you're going to go on to something else. So um, utilizing those different uh, ethics and, and, and uh, everything through everything that you do uh, will help you, A, also it'll help you become a better hockey player, obviously, but then also more importantly, in, in a lot of other aspects as well.